Hey guys, here I'll show you um, how to parallel charge the batteries. I have, if you see, see it over here, I have this EOS 720 um, I charger. It's a Super Dio 3 charger here. And this currently has a 500 watt per port. And then it's capable of delivering up to 20 amps each port. So you have a 1000 watt charger with a 40 amp uh, capability. What I'm charging here is basically it's a pedal charging so one port has three batteries and total total battery amperage is 15 amps it's a six cell battery and over here uh, I'm charging four of those six cell batteries note that I'm using two different parallel ports because of the discharge plugs being different here I have the uh, here I have the uh, the uh, XT60 connectors here I have the uh, EC5 connection for my Gens Ace 5000 batteries but all of these batteries are, are charging pretty good I mean I don't have problems with it and they're charging in parallel and what, what power, the power supply I'm using is the uh, 550 watt for 12 volts because I have two racks so that's total of 1100 watts per 24 volts okay and if you look at this closely the first one right here is actually giving me a 20 amp so maximum uh, maximum amperage out of this port all right and then on this port you're seeing also a 20 amp maximum charge so basically i'm utilizing my 20 amp max per each port and if i look at the battery so i have this 5300 5300 5000 hyperion batteries the total will be 22.2 volts and it will be 20,000 amperes or 20 amp so i'm basically charging also at 20 amp because of the maximum capability of this charger per port is 20 amps so if my 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 batteries were fully discharged it's going to take up to complete one hour to charge all these four batteries okay and you want to make sure the cell count is the same when you do a panel charging and plus your your discharge rate should be the same so for example if of for example this battery genase is let's say 50 percent discharge you want to make sure that all the other batteries are also in the same discharge rate so for example if that 50 percent represent my 3.8 volts per cell then every every everyone else battery should have a 3.8 per cell so that's why and that's really really important when if you want to do a parallel charging and if you notice here, i have two pair of boards here and they're interconnected with each other depending on what type of discharge plugs i have and it's and it goes straight to the charger and then charger has a balance plug right there that goes into the first pair of board and the second pair of board balance um, cable goes into the other other pair of board so they pretty much works the same like this is how you do a pedal charging um, you just want to make sure that when you when you input that right when you input that in the first port you want to make sure you put 15,000 in it because they are 5,000 mAh each so it's totally 15,000 that's what you're going to be careful with and since my cells can take more than one C charge rate I'm charging them at 20 amps right here which is the maximum all right same goes for this one since I have four batteries of 5,000 mAh each I've been able to charge up to 20 amps right and uh, and if I want to make sure that how much watts uh, these four batteries are doing so the, you know the, the basically what you do is you multiply uh, the volts with your amps and then that 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 will that will give you how much the watt is so if I multiply my 5000 ampere current with the 22.2 it will give me 111 watt so this one battery is is cap is 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 basically a 111 watt battery same goes for this one is a 111 battery same goes for this one 111 111 watt battery and 111 watt battery so basically my total watt for these four batteries will be one two three four 
and then you have 11, 22, 33, 44. So it's gonna be 444 watt approximately for these four batteries and my charger can handle this because it can handle up to 500 watt each port. So same goes for this one, I have three batteries and all of three will be around 333 watt and my port is capable of charging up is able capable of taking up to 500 watt which is perfectly fine so this charge is definitely capable of of charging 500 watts per port up to 20 amp okay of current and so that's why you need a charger that is a little bit bigger than what your specific specification for the Hyperion 720i is. You want to make sure you get a little bit bigger power supply than the requirement of the charger. So I hope this helps and um, it gets sometimes a little confusing but this is very very straightforward. This is how you, how you charge the barrel uh, battery. So if you have any questions please uh, send me a comment on YouTube and I'll, 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 I'll be able to answer you back. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.